Hey y'all, welcome back to part two of today's inner stage window. We're gonna be playing some more WoW. I just had a snack, sorry, that was a burp. Okay, here we go. All right, is my hearth up? Oh my God, almost. One minute and 19 seconds. We can probably run, run there in one minute and 19 seconds. So we're just gonna ru run there. <clears throat> An alliance with the wolves. Oh, <laughs> oh, y'all talking about vampire versus werewolf stuff. Yeah, I don't think there's, I don't think in this game there's vampire versus werewolf stuff. I mean, there are werewolves and there are vampires. And um, we might actually see some werewolves if we get far enough with this, but um, I don't think, I don't think it's like that. Because in WoW, like, everything is basically like a corrupted version of something else. And so, like, werewolves are like corrupted druids. That's how they started. Um, and vampires is a type of, like, uh, undead that, uh, that certain kinds of elves can become. So they're not, they're not really, like, related the way they are in a lot of other media. They don't really have anything to do with each other exactly. Except in the sense that, like, everything in Warcraft is all about corruption. But that's, like, all things. <clears throat> okay, after I do the things I need to do... Mm. Well, no, because I'm going to get mail. Because that, that dude sent me a wand. So I was just thinking, after I do the things I need to do to make my wand, I should start making some bags. I have not had good bag drops this run. Not good bag drops. But then I was just thinking like, oh, but someone's mailing me a wand. So I don't really have to follow exactly that. I mean, I do need to level up so that I can make um, the greater wand when we get there. But I can't even use that till level 13. Grand Prison came about long before werewolves in all the folklores and scriptures. So it makes sense the vampires just decide to be their enemies. You know, that's kind of true. That is kind of true if you look at like the folklore history um, and the myth mythos history of those two things. <clears throat> vampires or something like a vampire um, is usually, usually appears first before anything that's like a werewolf type of thing. Because you know, I mean, you know, because you like this stuff. It's always, it's all a little bit different in different cultures. This had better be good. Hello. You've still got exclamation above your head. Why can't I accept? Hmm. Okay, I'll come back Embrace to you. The shadow. Oh. What there we go. Ask of death? I was like, what the heck? What the heck is happening? Alright, let's go turn in this. And give this guy his weed. I hope he'll be okay that we collect it instead of the abomination he asked to collect it. And I did his dirty work, but you know. He should be happy because he still got his weed. I think what that's how most potheads feel. Oh, he wants more weed. Okay. Don't worry, my dude. I'll get you the better stuff. I'll get you the better stuff. <clears throat> it's gonna happen. All right, come in here. Hello. Yay, level up. Different cultures have vampiric entities and werewolf-like entities, yes. In France, the werewolf is called the Rougarou. I learned how to pronounce that from Team Wolf. <laughs> and is less animal in appearance. Yeah, more so in behavior and their skin starts to rot. It's usually caused by a bloodline curse rather than a bite, too. Very interesting. What is it? Our time will come. So they've got, so if there's skin rot in there, there's some kind of, there's a little bit of like an, an undead sort of thing going on with the Rougarous. What now? Or like a disease type of thing. Goodbye. Which is kind of cool. Our time will come. What do you require? Okay, there's the bat quest. 
just took a minute for it to open up. Oh, I know where that is. We have to go down into the basement. <clears throat> oh, look, we turned him. We turned that Scarlet Zealot. He's a zombie now. Yeah, you're rotting. Okay. Oh, I need to clean up my bags. I'm listening. Okay, and instead of water, we're gonna switch. Oh, I need to use these. Oh, this goes needs to go on my bar. Okay. Embrace the shadow. Oh, to Durotar. We're gonna finish Tyrus Fall later. Okay. Actually, I do like that idea. Let's do that. We'll minimize Tyrus Fall there. Oh, other direction. Other direction to the Zeppelin. Then you have Native American shifters like a werewolf. They could change into wolves, but they had to wear the skins of the animal they wished to change into. Yeah, so kind of selkie like type of thing. The traditional insane during the moon werewolf actually came from Greece. King Lycon. Well, we'll say it's close enough. <laughs> um, sac sacrificed his song to Zeus for power. Oh, his son to Zeus. Zeus, no like, he cursed him to be a rabid wolf and kill us the second son. Then felt bad and brought the first son back. Wow. Zeus is always a trip. Zeus is always a trip. Okay, since we're going to go to Durotar, I think I should probably drop some of these. Because my quest log is going to fill up. So let's drop a few of these. We can pick them back up when we come back. But that kind of makes sense that, like, here in the U.S., we would sort of combine... Is this the right Zeppelin? Time is money, friends! Yes. Um, right that we back. would combine the, uh, like, the Native American kind of shifter idea with the, uh, with the Greek werewolf idea. No, it makes sense to me that we would do that. Due to the consensus with the Greek gods, though, the only one that allows human sacrifices is actually Ares, from what I know. The rest will mess you up for it. Oh, really? You know, I never really thought about that. I never really thought about that, but I guess that's kind of true. If you think about the different sacrifice stories. They don't really want human sacrifices. They want like animals and grains and stuff. Or good, or certain deeds like you to do something. My mail! My mail's here! It's my wand! <gasps> you guys, I'm gonna get a wand way earlier than if I would have built it myself. Because I don't have- I only have six linens right now. Only six. The best sacrifices were the votive offerings, burying or burning something in their name and expecting nothing in return. Yes. Many would make a big meal because they would throw half of it in the fire for the gods to receive. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that matches with what, what, um, what I was just thinking of um, when you said that, for sure. Yeah, that makes sense. No, they weren't they're not really interested in human sacrifices over in Greece, are they?
<laughs> Her guild is LF Guild, is looking for a guild. That's funny. That's a funny guild name. These people ballsy just jumping off the Zeppelin Tower. Uh-uh. No way. I saw I saw a body. Um for the Undercity elevator. <laughs> they tried to fight the elevator boss and lost. Poor things. The Spartans were a different breed indeed. Some of them, some say they were all werewolves, but they sacrificed people to Ares all the time. Foolish creatures. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. We did a whole unit when I was like, um, cause I was in like the gifted program, you know, um, when I was in school and we did like a whole unit on like Greek mythology. It was like so cool. We learned all about like Greek culture and like all kinds of cool stuff. It was definitely one of my favorite like learning memories. So this is Durotar. The orcs and trolls start here, but we're going to quest through here too, because I think this is a good idea. The rested XP is saying, like, we should probably do all the starting zones, you know? I think that's best. The neurodivergent, we can't keep them entertained the same mundane shit as everyone else Time program, pretty money, much. <laughs> I mean, they just, like, when I was a kid, like, a lot of, uh, a lot of my, you know, classmates got diagnosed with, like, ADD. That was, like, the big thing. But other sorts of neurodivergencies were, like, really not discussed. Like, I have no memories of any others ever being talked about. Like, I don't even remember people talking about, like, kids having depression or anxiety. Like, it, based on my memory, like, those were adult things, you know? <laughs> those were adult things. Those are not things kids had. Um, so, so, yeah. But thinking back on, like, everybody that was in the gifted program... Like, yeah, it was like a bunch of like autistic kids, ADD kids, ADHD kids, a bunch of kids that were like maybe more like creative, artistic, free spirited. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it was a lot of that. It was definitely a lot of that uh, in the in the gifted classes. ADD is an outdated term now too, really. It was given to girls because they lacked the outward hyperactivity. So is it all ADHD? Is it all ADHD now? I don't even know. I don't have kids. So I only know what, like, my, my friends that are parents tell me. Yeah? Okay. I mean, that makes sense. You know, that makes sense. That, like, when you're a kid, girls and boys would have different symptoms. Because that's true for, like, a lot of medical things. Men and women have different symptoms. Or slightly different. Like, there'll be overlap, but there's, like, slight differences. All right, we're gonna set our hearth here to Razor Hill, and we're gonna help out the Orkies. They're definitely happy to see me. All of their names are yellow instead of green because they don't trust the undead. They think, um, you know, we might be, we might not be really forsaken. We might be actually just undead. What are you looking um, for? So yeah, Rotar. this is good. We're gonna, we're gonna prove ourselves to them. All right, okay, all that's fine. May your blades never dull. <clears throat> Okay, this says to do the quests here, but I'm actually gonna go back to like the starting starting zone and do some of the gray quests. I think that's that makes more sense because we can make some money. We can make some money, honey. Alright, let's do spirit. Let's get vegan potion. There we go. Make things easy on us. Get buffed out! Girls have had different societal pressure the whole time that turn into more true. Boys are like, oh boys, they're just hyper, they'll grow out of it. Yep. Four girls are nothing but be quieter, be polite, be tidy, be organized. True. And we question why we can't meet those expectations. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh yeah, all that kind of stuff gets misdiagnosed in women all the time. I agree with that. It's just... It's just easier. It's easier because of how our society is set up to understand when it's happening to men. Very true. But things are always improving. Things are always improving. Like, if you look at the, the course of history, 
we're getting more and more progressive, despite despite setbacks that we've had. It's uh, overall more and more progressive all the time. Oh no, Supervisor Lugwizzle got them. What's this other level 15? Oh, just says Kalimdor. Okay, I don't know what that is. Turns out it's rare for boys to mask. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually only women do. I'm sure some, some men do as well. It probably just depends on the situational. But I could definitely see it being like more common with women in general. But I think it depends also because I think like probably men that were um, discouraged in a way from showing emotions other than anger probably do like a man version of masking as well. That would be my guess anyway. Because for men, every emotion has to be anger. Um, or they're not accepted. That's like the only one they're allowed. Hello, Orkies. I'm here to help you. I'm going to improve my reputation with you. So I think doing these gray quests is going to do a couple of things that are good for hardcore. It's going to help me get some more money. And it's going to help me get some more rep, which I think is going to overall be good, even though the quests are gray. Um, whereas if, of course, I wasn't playing hardcore, I would not bother. Like, this would be a waste of time because there's no there's no lore master achievement in classic. Maybe someday in classic plus we'll get achievements, but we don't have them today. So there's really not much point in doing gray quests. But I feel like for hardcore where, you know, when you die, your character is gone there is big benefit to having some extra money from doing these gray quests. So, we're gonna do them. Loktar, go forth to victory! Thralhal, Dabu! Is there another? Oh. Yes? Ruzan. I already picked up the quest from Ruzan. Is there another? Speak. No. Or the horde. It just it isn't going away. <clears throat> That's my toe, Queen. Queen sniffing my toe. Meow, I know happening. I feel like there should have been another quest. Like, there should be a quest to kill boars. Is my questie not set to show? <gasps> my questie's not set to show the the trivial quests. That's the problem. I was like, I know there's another quest here. I know there is. It's to kill boars. There we go. Okay. Let's destroy some boars. Get some of these piggies. There's a lot of people in this starting area, too. That's so nice. I feel so free here. I'm so overleveled. Nothing can kill me. So relaxed. So chill. So calm. Alright, let's talk to this one. <clears throat> Alright, we gotta go avenge- we gotta go avenge him. He's poisoned by this 
Scorpid named Sarkoth. Let's go get him. Make him pay for what he did! Come here, Sarkoth. Taste my immolate! I got the claw. Hanazua, got it. Okay, so I definitely not gonna be able to use any of this stuff, so I'll just pick whatever like gets me more money. Oh my gosh, Almanax, how have you been? It's been forever. What have you been up to? I need an Almanax update. It's been too long. Back to school. Oh yeah, it is the school season again. It is time for school again. What happened to your poor eye? Oh my gosh. Don't worry, Almanax. The other guy looks worse. Don't worry. <laughs> so there's pictures in the Discord. There's pictures in the Discord if you want to see. Um, see my eye and why I'm covering it. Uh, but I'll tell you. I'll tell you the real story. I was watching TikToks in bed, and I dropped my phone on my face. I, I wish it was a cooler story, but that that's that's what happened. That's what happened. <laughs> and it just looks too gross. It just looks too gross. I don't want to like alarm you for us or like make you like look at it. You got pink eye. I didn't get pink eye. No, I didn't get pink eye. I I'm not diseased. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just clumsy. <laughs> So no, nothing is wrong. I don't have pink eye. No, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So no, I'm not sick. Nothing, it's nothing bad. Like, I'm fine. It just is not very pretty to look at, and I don't want to subject you people to it, so we're wearing a patch. <laughs> Are we getting the horse that okay, I'm itching to spot up? Well, you know what, Almanax? How about you go make um, a hardcore classic WoW character, and we can play together on this game right now. This multiplayer game. Look at all these people running around. One of those could be you. One of those could be you. We could be leveling together. We could be trying not to die together. It could happen. I'm up for that. Well, I'm in a guild um, called Pocket Tiger. I'm in, um, I'm on, uh, Defias Pillager. What is WoW? World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. They released some servers on Thursday, uh, for hardcore. So that's basically what we're playing now. If we die, our character cannot resurrect. We have to start all over if we die. Which the hardcore scene has been going for a few years. Like, it's been like a whole big old deal for a few years, but Blizzard made official Split. hardcore Split. servers. <laughs> and so I started playing it. Ah, shoot, inventory's full. What is World of Warcraft? This is, this is Almanax. This is, how you know what World of Warcraft is? The heck, the heck. Tell me someone who doesn't know what World of Cobra. Warcraft is. You lie. Okay, there we go. Gaboom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm playing on um, so, so. I'm playing hardcore on Defias Pillager, <laughs> the DP server. So if you'd like to uh, do some DP with me, then you can join the server. I have an off-stream character too. I have a druid that I'm playing off-stream, and then I have this warlock that I'm playing on-stream. So the druid will probably surpass Strength the warlock, but probably also die first. So, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. How you doing, man? Why does it keep having that exclamation there? I already... I accepted vile familiars. It's like bugged out. 
Brawl Hall. Strength. All right, let's go wake up some peons. Oh, we need cactus apples too. But yeah, I'm on um, Defias Pillager. I'm in a guild called um, Pocket Tiger. Uh, so if you are interested in playing with me, that's what you want to do. You want to make a horde character on Defias Pillager. And then try not to die. I haven't died yet. I feel like saying that make, it means it's gonna happen, but I can say it. I can feel like I can say it here. This is like a pretty safe area. I'm like so super. Um, I'm like super over leveled for it, so I feel safe saying that in this area. Signing up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, hit me up. This my warlock is uh, Karen Terry, as you can see. My druid is nya, like the cat sound, nya, because <laughs> she's a druid. She can't go kitty form yet, but hopefully she'll be able to soon. And I'm specking her feral, but I'm 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 sure I'll end up healing in dungeons and stuff. But I feel like I should be able to, you know. I don't think I don't think I really need to spec and spec into healing to heal. Uh, pre-60. You know, for as far as I'll probably get before dying. <laughs> I have almost died a couple times. I feel like I haven't almost died on stream yet, though. We haven't had, like, a truly scary, like, oh my god, I'm gonna die moment. I've had some aggro I wish I didn't get, but nothing too crazy. Ah, that's the one he was getting. Okay, that's okay, we'll get these two. But yeah, it's hopping right now. Fresh server, fresh economy. So, like, even if you're not, like, into the idea of hardcore, there still might be something to be said to come play on the hardcore servers. Because of that. I mean, you know if you played MMOs, like, what good a fresh server can do. I'm really enjoying it so far. I did not think I would enjoy hardcore, but whenever Blizzard announced that they were making official servers, it kind of got my attention of like actually giving it a try. And I did a practice character that I got all the way up to level 15, a warlock, an undead warlock like this. Um, she got up to level 15 and I was like, huh, okay, maybe I can do this. She didn't die yet either, but then the official ones dropped. So I switched over to playing on the official ones. Man, people making waking up these peons. I guess I have to go over to the other side that people don't go. Okay, we got enough apples. Let's go over to the other side for some waking up some peons. It should be this way. Yeah, this way. South. Almanax, how much longer do you have in school? Like, when do you graduate? These peons working too. Come on, fall asleep. You're supposed to be lazy. There's one. Be busy. Leave me alone. No. I can do that. That's what I thought. Not that kind of work. You are now. Okay, yeah. 
make sure that's the right, like, any scorpion here should drop the tails, right? Yes. It's any of them. He's sleeping. Okay, let's get this one. Wakey, wakey. Something you doing? Yes. Okey dokey. Get to work. We don't tolerate slackers in this business. If you can lean... No, what is it? If you have time to lean, you have time to clean. Hey, 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 hey. Time to what lean, time to clean. Boom. Oh, two more years. Okay, so you're halfway through. Wow, that's awesome. Are you excited? I feel like the first, the first two years of, um of call any college program most college programs are like so much gen ed courses and things like that so you actually get to like more into what your bachelor's is for in the other two years are you getting a bachelor's i feel like you've been in school for a minute right am i remembering this right don't tell me i forgot your situation or are you just getting a two-year I'm transitioning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good. I did remember. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I try to remember. Like, I try really hard to remember, like, what you guys have told me. Um, you know, because I feel like that's, that's, like, the kind of streamers I like to go into. Bachelors. Okay. Was military before? Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. So then you know how important it is for these peons not to fall asleep. Because this is a military, it's a war. But they awake now. We're going to have to find one later. <clears throat> yeah, because that's the kind of streamers I like going into. Is Because I'm really, really busy, you know, kind of like you are. <laughs> Where, like, sometimes it's going to be a few weeks before I go back into the same streamer. Because, like, there's other streamers like that I want to check in on and say hi to. Or, like, I just get busy and can't even watch streams for a few days sometimes. Um, so, it's like... But the kind of streamers that actually, like, remember a little bit about their people and seem to, like, be interacting with them in that way, that's what I like to see. You know, that's what's entertaining to me. And I know streamers can't always remember. Um, and I don't always remember either, but I try. I try, because I think that's fun. Drop your tails, bitches. Inventory is full. <gasps> uh oh, I gotta go empty bags. But yeah, I feel like, like, when I was in college, the last two years where I started, like, actually getting into my specialized classes, like, that was way, that was way fun. Not that the first two years weren't fun, they were just fun in a totally different way. Um, because a lot of the information was either, like, it was just, like, not what I was there for, or it was, like, so similar to the types of things I had learned in high school that it wasn't that interesting. I mean, some of, some of my gen ed classes were still very interesting. Like, I took, um... I took um, astronomy, friend. which I found fascinating, and I did learn a lot of stuff there. But there were definitely a lot of classes where I didn't, like, like, uh, like I had to take math classes that I didn't want to take because <laughs> I was bad at it, you know, things like that, that I was just like, Ugh, can we not? But I had to. 
but then all of that went away in the last two years because it was all about like stuff for my major. So it was all like super relevant in what I was actually interested in. Okay. I want to, let's see. Uh, no, the cactus apple. Yeah, I know it gives me a buff, but like it's not very good. Okay. Be safe. Bag's empty. I need a bag drop. Someone drop their bag. Okay, let's go up here where there's a lot of scorpids and let's get that one and then we'll look for another peon. Because I don't want to go into the cave. I don't want to go into the cave yet. Because there's a there's another there's another quest for that with the uh, where you get the pick. So I want to wait till I have that quest. There's a sleeping peon. Go, 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 go before someone else gets him. I need to get him. There we go. Got that one done. All right, let's decimate the scorpid population. Although it looks like everyone else already is. But that's okay. We're going to we're going to participate too. Oh my gosh. I must be on layer one right now with how active it is. Must be. Or maybe they got rid of layering. I kind of I I I kind of really was not digging when they had layering going. So maybe they got rid of it in the little reboot this morning. That would be nice. Hopefully that's the case. trying to pull you. Excuse you, Sarkoff. Little bitch. Get out of here. Oh, he drops a tail too. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know the name would drop the tail. That's funny. You never do the quests in that order. And it's usually there's plenty of scorpions where I wouldn't even come up here. See our name still instant spawning. Yep, because there he is again. Not enough mana. I need more oh, mana. Thirst. My cat. <laughs> Drink my milk. So I'm a, I'm, I gotta grow these bones. That's all I have anymore. <laughs> the skin's gone. This area, so I have to go back down. 
Hi, Queen. How are you doing? Do you know where um, a scorpid tail is? <laughs> you don't? Because you're just the cat? Really? That's crazy. Okay, I'll pet you a little bit. There you go. Okay, I can't pet you for too long because this is hardcore. I'm trying to live hardcore. <laughs> I do gotta live hardcore. Okay. I could probably survive that fall damage, but we're not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna jump down. I'm not gonna do it. That would be dumb. Dumb ways to die. Not for me. We're gonna go around like a little bitch. You only live once? Exactly. I literally only live once. If this character dies, she cannot resurrect. I will, I will probably do some like YOLO moment things though. I have I have playing by myself, so we'll do it on stream, you know. I'm not gonna be less risky on stream than I am by myself. And I've almost died a couple times. <clears throat> I'm more risky on stream. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Because when you're playing by yourself, you don't have anybody that, that it, to impress. You don't have anybody watching. It's like not like that, you know? Blood and thunder. But I absolutely refuse to die Lord to like Lord. falling or drowning. Absolutely refuse. That's just dumb. But like I, I watch people do it. Like some of these, like if you see somebody that dies in Undercity, but they weren't kill killed by something, they fell down the elevator, guaranteed. They fell down the elevator. Let's see, what, what was this level 15's death? Oh, Supervisor Lugwizzle. I think the death log stopped updating. What do you need? Okay, here's order. the pig quest. <clears throat> Let's go in the cave. See, and I am still getting, like, a little bit of experience for doing these gray quests. Like, I just got 450 for that one. Not really efficient, but, you know, still worth it if it's hardcore. So, yeah, I think we'll do the Mulgore starting zone, too. We'll do all of them. Oh man, everyone's cleared this out. Usually those little vile familiars are everywhere. We'll go inside. This cave shouldn't be scary because I'm overleveled. Pick should just be straight in right back here. Man, there's so many people, I can just walk right in. What's up? Found it. Oh no, my inventory's full. Oh no, I didn't pick it up. Okay, wait, wait. What can I what can I get rid of? Oh, this is only one copper. Okay, go away. I should have sold when I was picking up quests and I totally forgot.
Okay, well, at least I don't have to be in this cave anymore. Go sell my shit. Then we'll have to come back here and kill more imps. Inventory is full. I know it's full, I know. I know. I'm working on it. Because I haven't gotten any bag drops. I need red bags. Six slot. I'll make some bags. With my tailoring once I get it up. So I think... Yeah, I'm going to have to train the bag. The bag... Uh, plans, but I have to go look at how far up how far up I should be to be able to train that. We'll check it in Razor Hill when we get there. So I, I think there's a tailoring trainer at Razor Hill. Speak, friend. If not, it's at Senjin Village. Like, there's gotta be there's one in either one of those places. Let's see. Ooh, tailoring. Let's see. I don't see it, but it don't matter. I know it's at one of those places. I was about to walk away without selling once again. I wasn't here to turn in that quest. I was here to sell. Strength and honor. Okay, for the here horde. We go. Bags empty again. I wonder if the corpse of the one I couldn't finish looting is still there. Yep, he's there. I can still get my loot. Yay! Thank you. Gracias. Oh, cabeza. Wait, its head is cabeza. I was trying to say, por favor, uh, your cabeza.
Alright, I got the heads, dude. Hopefully you're not still bugged out on Questy when I turn this in. Showing an exclamation point when you don't have one. Mokra. Yeah. Oh, this is actually higher DPS. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, nice. Okay, now there's a question mark. Surethra. Oh. Strengthen. There we go. Make your grenades never dull. Medallion. Go for the victory. Is that inside the cave? Yes, that's going to the boss of the cave. Okay. Let's go beat up the boss, you guys. Gonna get a new dagger. It was good that I really good that I came over here. What can I help you with? Farewell. Now, according to everything that I've looked at for hardcore, going into caves is the scariest thing. Which, playing some of it, I agree. But this cave should not be bad, since we're overleveled for it. But the other cave here in Duratar Skull Rock is going to be pretty bad. It's going to be pretty bad. So we'll see when we get there how we do that. How we handle that. Alright, I think we need some battle music. I think we need some battle music, y'all. Here we go. Start a new song. There we go. Oh, this is perfect for battling. Yeah. Oh, I think we go this way. Yeah, this way. Well, someone already cleared it all out for me. That was nice of them. That was no so nice of them. Wonder if we'll be able to just run back. Okay, there he is. Let's get him. Come on, Bell Cole. We can do this together. Yeah. Alright, let's see if we run back if the respawns are gonna happen. Aw, oh, thank you so much for the follow, friendo. Thank you so much. Did you find me in the, um, in the World of Warcraft, uh, category? Are you interested in hardcore? If you don't want to answer, that's cool, no pressure. Lurking's cool. Oh, we have to clear a little bit of this cave back out. I mean, we could just walk out. Like, they're only level 3 and 4, but still. It's the principle of the thing. You kill him. Almost walked into him. Alright, well, we're oom, so we're just gonna walk out.
There we go. Okay, I think we're done with Valley of Trials now. We'll go to Senjin and Razor Hill area next. Get our glue. I need that glue. Actually, an upgrade. Okay, sweet. Nice, nice, nice. And another potion. Yes. Okay. What can I do for you? Okay. Is there a mailbox in Sinjin? But do we need to go to Razor Hill first? It doesn't look like there's a mailbox over there. Thank you so much for the lurk, Lunar. We love our lurkers here. Yeah, I don't I don't see a mailbox. I think we got it. Let's go to Razor Hill first. So we can get our, our gift out of the mail. So it's a little backtracking, but I want to get that wand. And is there... I could have sworn there was tailoring an enchanting trainer over there, but it's not popping up. Oh, well, we'll look. Oh, that's in that that human area, the little like fort castle area. <sighs> Going up in there, scary. Oh, they got fire wands. Those are nice. It's a little chilly in here today. It's hot outside, but it's a little chilly in my room. Oh, I could have hearthed. Oh my god. I didn't realize my hearth was up. That's okay. We'll end up using it later. Yeah, there isn't a tailoring trainer here. I guess the closest one to here would be Org. 
Hmm. That's a bummer. Alright, let's accept these quests. Loka. Box. Yay! Gyoza. All right, now we got a wand. We are OP. Find that shit. This is nice about like an official hardcore server, like you can trade in things on the uh, hardcore add-on when people play, they would play this mode called Solo Self Found, where they could not, they wouldn't trade, use Auction House or anything because it wasn't, you know, not everyone was participating in hardcore, so it like wasn't really fair. But these are official, so everyone is, so everyone's doing it, which is really nice. Alright, let's go over to Senjin. Oh, do I have? I definitely have new warlock stuff to get. Zog zog. Mm, oh, I need that. Let's see what else have we got. Oh, that's it. Just affliction stuff. Okay. Let's get these then. Victory! All right. Now we can continue to send in. I need that curse of agony. And another dot. More dots. More dots. Many whelps, handle it. Scary area. Let me go down here.
I wonder if it if this guide has me do like all of Durotar before I go back. It looks like it's quite a bit of it. Maybe I do it all up to the hard quests. <clears throat> and then go back. There it is, I see it. made it over to Senjin. Let's grab all these quests. You come get the food. How you doing, man? You see it? Okay, all these. Okie dokie. Hey there. See ya later. Hmm? Oh, he must be on the outside. in this hut. There we go. Talk to me. Hello, man. All right, let's go get some crawlers. I remember the drop rate for the crawlers and the eyes, the mucus and the eyes, like, being not so good. So let's see what we can do on our way to the centaurs. Love that wand damage. We need to level it up. So we won't do Shadow Bolt for just a little bit. Just dot him and wand him until we get the wand skill up. many people there are no spawns okay I'm out of range isn't it hard to see with one eye hello Eminem it, it's not as hard as you would think honestly it's not that bad how have you been how are you doing are you having a good weekend <laughs> We didn't get very many of those, but we can go up here and get centaurs. Hopefully there's other people in here. 
so we can get the plans easily. I mean, I drove back and forth from work the other day with the eye patch on, so it's not too bad. I've done, I've done, uh, I've done more difficult things <laughs> in my life. They don't have to wait and do that. So mine counted for them. I need my glasses, otherwise I'm kind of blind. Oh. <laughs> I have glasses, but I don't wear them very much. It's pretty rare that I wear them. I do need them to drive at night, but otherwise I don't really use them. I want to get vision insurance next year, though, because I'm getting close to 40, you guys, and I might need bifocals soon, so I think next year when it comes up for, like, benefits enrollments, I'm going to get vision insurance so that I can get my eyes checked again, because I haven't had them checked in so long, and it's only so much longer that I'm going to be able to, like, get away with, uh, with not having any, not having, like, actually good classes. I thought you were doing it. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, she was doing it. Okay. Thanks, pigtails. Yeah, Emin and I hurt myself is what happened. <laughs> I dropped my phone on my face. So I'm, I'm, sa I'm saving you from having to look at this. Look at what I did to myself. Because <laughs> it looks bad. I put pictures on the Discord if you want to see what it looks like. These are instant spawns. They aren't even names or anything. I'd the heck? Have a target. Why you instant respawn? That is rude of you. Evade? Don't you evade, bug? Okay, that's what I thought.
Oh, they already left. Ha! I exaggerated a bit. I see worse in my left eye, though. Oh. That makes sense. I think that's true for a lot of people. Like, if they use glasses, I think, like, maybe one of their eyes is okay and one of them is not so good. I mean, a lot of people have batted both, but I think there's... I think there's a decent amount of people that have, like, one good eye, one bad eye, you know? Lucky for me, the injury did happen on my bad eye. It's the ugly eye and it's the one that sees a little bit worse. So that's, you know, that's the bright side. Alright. But when you get used to glasses, you know, I think it's hard to not wear them. Because then that's like your standard. Because like I can drive at night without mine, but I really don't want to. Yeah, yeah, I dropped my phone. I, I was watching TikToks in bed. I was watching TikToks in bed and I dropped my phone on the face. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had a cool story. Like, I wish I had some kind of dramatic something or something interesting, but no. I was watching TikToks in bed. <laughs> it's not that interesting. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah. It just, it's, it looks really bad, so I just don't want to, like, subject you guys visually to that. I don't think that's good content. Um, but I'm fine. Like, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. It just looks bad. We got some of the mucuses. We're gonna need more eyeballs though. But we'll get more of those when we go over to do those, like the gnomish tools on the boats. So that's okay. So we have another opportunity. We don't have to just sit on the beach and kill those things. What's up, Lar? What you want? Do I have to choose? Okay. Oh, they're both upgrades. This is better upgrade, though. Be seeing ya. Okay. All right, let's sell my trash. need spring water I have milk so this can go here this can go here okay 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 I sold it oh time to do the humans any lovely people here play Gwent that sounds super familiar but no I don't play Gwent what is it tell me about Gwent Alright, time, time to go fuck up some humans. 
It's a game from The Witcher, the card game similar to Hearthstone. That's where I've heard about it, because I watched The Witcher TV show. I did not watch the latest season, but I watched, um, I watched the other seasons. So I must have heard about it on the show. You're not alone, never done it before, but I heard a lot of people have done it. Like many people have dropped their phone in the toilet, right? I've never done that either. Gwent wasn't in the show? Well, I must have heard about it from, like, some kind of witch or something. Well, because, y'all, because if I watch a show and I like it, <laughs> I go, like, follow people on Twitter and stuff and see, like, fandom posts and, like, fan art, and I'll go read some fanfics and stuff like that. So, if I didn't see it in the show, I must have absorbed it from witcher fandom stuff. But yeah, no, I don't know Gwent. I don't know Gwent. You know what weird card game that I was into for a long time? I, when I was a kid, I actually played the Pokemon card game for a few years pretty hard. But it was a problem. It was a problem. I, I wanted to, it made me want to spend too much money. So it was like bad. <laughs> so that caused me to like never get into magic or whatever. Cause like, it was just too much. Like, I'm crazy. So I just couldn't handle it. Oh, I meant to press two. What am I doing? Cast your spells. Don't just start with a wand. Heck. Get your head in the game. There it is. Okay. I just want to get the inside over with. Do we think anybody's in there? Or people people are probably in there. People are probably in there. But no, I've never played Quint um Devon, but it sounds super fun. Like when I played Pokemon cards, I, I thought it was super fun. And I actually played magic cards for a bit. But I just never purchased my own. I would borrow other people's decks to play because it was like, I don't need to do all that. It's too much of a problem. It's a really lovely game. That's cool. It's I'm scared. What are respawns going to be like in here? Okay, I don't need to fight you. Let's go up here. Oh, I'm scared, you guys. <laughs> like, look, maybe I need to get a heart monitor. <laughs> like Lunar has for her, um, some of her streams. Okay, no respawns. Holy fuck. They're going to spawn on top of me. I can feel it. Oh, troll friend, hello. Hey, I help you. I help you. Oh, they're already in a group. Bitch. Okay, and but you're gonna leave? Oh my god, stay and help me. They're gonna respawn on top of me! Huh. Get him before more respawns. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Still recharging. Bitch. Okay, loot. Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. Okay, made it to the chest. Now I just gotta make it back out. Oh my god, the song telling me I'm probably gonna die, that's wrong. Whatever. Oh, shit. Two. Two! Target C. 
something first. All right, almost back outside. You should try Clint went out as fun and chill. Is it expensive, like like Hearthstone, like that those type of games, or is it just like is it like on the computer? And when like when you say like Hearthstone, like does that mean it's on the computer, so you're not spending like money on individual cards? Oh, fuck Christ made it out. It's free to play. Oh, okay. If it's free to play, I might check it out. Like it's on Steam? Okay, I'm not scared anymore. We're not inside the, the building, the scary building where we can get stuck. We gotta kill four more marines though. Stream and GOG. Oh, okay. The usual suspects. I do have to go back in there to kill more marines though, right? Or do marines spawn outside? Maybe they spawn outside. I'm out of range! Oh, oh, wait, I've already got spirit going. You know, as much as I played WoW and I played like um, Warcraft and Starcraft RTSs back in the day, um, I was never good at them. I just like, but I played the story. But anyways, um, I never played Hearthstone. Never even tried Hearthstone. So uh, Gwent would be a whole new experience for me. Oh, there's some more Marines over here. Here we go. I don't have to go inside. Yay. Excuse you, resisting my fire. That's rude. Who does that? You think you stop my magic? Little do you know, I have a wand. Can't stop the wand. All right, that's enough marines. We just need some sailors now. friend. You look cold. I think you need some warmth. I got just the thing. It's called Immolate. It'll let you on fire. Gwent's one of those games that has small learning curve, but if you read your cards carefully, it's easy to understand and get going. Oh. It's too far away. I like some complexity in games. I don't like too much. It's because I'm busy. <laughs> and if I have to do too much learning, it's not that interesting to me, just because the time investment is like too much. But um, a little bit complicated is good. It sounds like this is kind of like that. It can get complex, but it sounds like it's not like super complex.
blood and thunder. Oh, we can turn into the one on the tower too. Okay. Lotar. Yay! Level up. Level nine. Let's go turn in the tower one as well. Right, turned them all in. Let's see. What does the mod want us to do next? Oh, go get our firebolt grimoire. Okay, we can do that. Whee! Ugh. Did they reduce fall damage? I feel like that should have done more fall damage. Did they reduce fall damage on the hardcore surfers? Let's see. Yeah, that did like nothing. That looks like half of what I thought it should do. What do you do? This ends already. What can I, help you I don't know why that happened. For the horde. Oh, Jark apparently sells the pouches? Man, I guess I'm gonna have to buy one because I really haven't gotten a drop. So unlucky. Alright, let's get our rank 2 firebolt. Glory to the horde. Strength. Okay, Jark is the innkeeper, right? No. Where's Jark? This one? No, I don't need the coarse thread yet. Let's see. Kutok. Black. The inside? There he is, Jark. <sighs> what does this recommend? A small brown pouch? Yeah, I don't think 25 silver is worth it right now. Great. I definitely need more slots in my bag. Can't handle this no more. There we go. That's much better. Got this four slot. Okay. Okay, now it's saying go over to the boat area. That makes sense for what to do next. Let's sell our stuff. Let's empty our bags. Brawl Hall. Go 
forth to victory. All right. Um. Okay, so that'll reduce by half. Because it's going to be 30 bolts. Okay. Oh, no, but they only make stacks of 10. So that actually doesn't save me bag space. That doesn't save me bag space if I go ahead and make those. So it'll be easier if I just hold on to them until I have the 60. Okay. All right, you guys. So we are actually going to stop here. So if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And uh, come back next week for some more adventures with Karen Terry the Warlock. <laughs> All right. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.